Welcome to Pony Island. This is going to be another Let's Play series on the Life Overflow Gaming channel. We are going to play an MMO together. This game was released in 2015 and now I finally get to play it. Pony Adventure 3 Pony Island is a limited release first person true open world MMORPG set on a beautiful island where anything could happen. That's because this game is intentionally vulnerable to all kinds of silly hacks. Flying, endless cash and more are all one client change or network proxy away. Are you ready for the mayhem? Wait, what? No, really. We are security professionals that want to help game designers understand how and why players are able to take advantage of design and programming flaws. By creating a game that is intentionally flawed, we can create an example for developers of what not to do. So this game was made solely for a security CTF competition in 2015. Back then I was getting into CTFs and I heard of it happening and I remember feeling so envious of everybody who was able to play it. Back then I had no clue and thought this is just insane what people can do. I didn't even bother trying it because I had no idea where to start and it was scary. This is until Antonin Bonjean wrote me on Twitter telling me that he was offering trainings with this and told me I could make a video about it and he could help me. I really appreciate him reaching out to me and I was really grateful of the support I got, though I couldn't just use his material or any other write up for that matter. This is another personal challenge of mine. Similar to the Read Me Revenge challenge, this is something that I looked up to some years ago and I finally think I'm at a point where I understand enough about computers to play it myself. So he's the reason why I finally decided to look at it. And of course I would like to thank the creators of Pwn Adventure 3. Pwn Adventure 3 is the brainchild of one Rusty Wagner. He's responsible for the idea, the planning and nearly all of the execution, programming, level design, quests and so forth. Without him, there would be no game. Special thanks also goes to the Ghost in the Shell code organizers for their support during development and testing. And down here you can see the logo of Vector35. Rusty Wagner is from Vector35 and maybe you know that company because this is also the company that develops the disassembler Binary Ninja. These people are amazing. Anyway. I know, this video is a bit more casual, but this will probably lead to many videos and so I want to have a light introduction into it and give you an outline what to expect. So the next video will be about setting up the private server. They still have one public server running, but it can't handle many concurrent users, so better deploy your own server. The game comes with a server to run on Ubuntu 14 and clients for Windows, Mac and Linux, so you can play and hack the game on any system. But of course techniques and tools are very different for the different systems and because I have most experience with Linux programs, I will start with the Linux client. But I can imagine that occasionally I will look at the other clients as well and maybe see how to replicate certain attacks on there. If you are interested in trying this yourself, I will link some resources below and there exists plenty of write-ups about it out there already. You should totally look at them if you are interested in solutions. I, for myself, just want to have a blind run as much as possible. It's a personal challenge to me. I'm almost a bit nervous, what if I fail and I still don't know enough. But I hope this shows you that if you look at certain challenges that you can't solve now, that it's not because you are stupid, it's just you need more time learning and practicing. You can do it too. And for the rest of the video, let's just have a casual let's play of the game and get a feeling for it. I have not played it yet and I'm eager to just see it before we dig into anything technical. So join me on exploring Pony Island for the first time. Okay, let's see what Live Overflow Let's Plays will be like. I'm super excited but nervous at the same time. I'm so scared that I will not be good enough or able to hack and find all this stuff. But oh, look at this, it looks amazing. And the music! Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Okay, so let's head in. So I've set up already a, a, a server for myself, so that's a private server. Okay. Okay. Create a character. Character creation process, amazing. 
I mean, there's only one option. It's this guy because I need a black hoodie. Yeah, that's the only one with a black hoodie. Create and join. Okay. Okay, escape the lost cave. Explore the cave. Let's see. Okay, we can jump. It's a little bit low gravity, like it feels very... We can sneak when you press shift. We have health and we have mana. It looks incredible and it's all just for a CTF. There's a bush. Entering lost cave. Press E to inspect. Path blocked. The way is blocked by a large bush. You must search for a way to remove it. Oh, now the pretty music is gone. I'm so excited. Is there fall damage? Uh, let's try. No fall damage. Okay. Press E to learn spell. Acquired great balls of fire. New achievement. Goodness gracious. Okay, so one is now... Ah, okay, with one, with one, two, and three we can switch the spell. Uh, and with mouse click we can cast the spell. Oh, and, and it uses mana. Okay, cool. Can we damage ourselves with it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Most important check. Does fire hurt ourselves? Do we burn? Most important test in games. Terrible game. No fire damage. Awful game. No scope 360. Amazing. Quest complete. Escape the lost cave. Oh, a giant rat, underground sewer. Oh, poor ratty. I love rats. There's another rat. There's another one. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a violent game. So, I guess this game is not full fantasy, if there, those are sewers and electrical lights. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. Sewer access, can we destroy the... The boxes doesn't look like it. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. Entering Pony Island! Hype! The crap shoot. <laughs> Sewer management. Ah, oh, the music! Another song! Oh my gosh! This game looks amazing! Okay, so uh, we have literally no guidance what to do next, but I guess we just follow the street and just enjoy the nature. Okay, so there are there's some houses and something down here. Pony Express, fast travel system. Tap the screen to choose your destination. No destination available. Okay, I guess we first have to like unlock certain places before we can fast travel to them, most likely. Interesting. Can we destroy something here? No. Okay, so two houses. Let's check this one out. There's a person. Mayor Payne. Oh, and weapons. Can't take them. Press E to talk. Welcome to my gun shop. What do you need? I need guns. Lots of guns. I've heard some legendary weapons are on this island. Do you have any? Just browsing. I need guns. Lots of guns. Okay, so we have zero pawn coins. And I can buy one for pawn coins. Okay. 
Uh, I heard some legendary weapons are on this island. Do you have any? There are many legendary weapons to be found, but I rarely have any to sell. The best weapons are found by adventurers completing quests, but many can be found just by fighting the enemies around here. Well, those rats didn't drop anything. I will seek them on my adventures. Amazing. Okay. Stairs. So why can't we just steal the weapons? Like in any other good game. Can we crouch to the window or something? I don't think we can crouch. Are there like controls somewhere? Okay, so this is the menu. High resolution, obviously. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! Well, I guess we try to log out. Okay, so, uh, be right back. Ah, cool. So, we are now out here in this region. Live overflow, pwn squad, black hoodie, zero flags, join. And we are back here. Amazing. Okay, so I guess it's a little bit interesting because we were up here. And so we spawned down here. This, I guess, like, each region has, like, a certain spawn point where you would come out again. Uh, I think that's, that might be important to to know i know for example in guild wars 2 there's such a thing as void jumping where you would go out of bounds and when you reload into the game the game would try to set you to a valid location again and if you were out of bounds it could teleport you on top of things that you usually couldn't reach uh, so you know i don't know stuff like that might be interesting and there was a person downstairs so let's talk to that person just intolerable. I got out of the town of adventure because of the bears and moved to Pony Island. And guess what? What happened? The same bears are here too. They are following me. What are you going to do? I will pay anyone for bear skins. I just want to see those bears dead, especially after my new discovery. A new discovery? What are the bears doing now? The bears are defending yet another big legendary chest of valuable treasure and they figured out our old tactics. I could whine about this all day. You're buying bear skin? Can I help? Quest started. Unbearable revenge. Find the bear's treasure. Sure, go over the unbearable woods and defeat those bears. You can keep the treasure, I just want them gone. I... let's see if... Okay, selling, nothing to sell. Okay, find the best treasure. I just realized maybe we should check if we have a map. I press M, nothing happens, and I guess... Let's trust the game designers and just follow the path. Oh, enabling PvP in... Okay, so if you press V, you start PvP. Inventory is I, that makes sense. Oh, uh, L is achievements. That might be kind of like the flags as well, maybe, I don't know. The right to arm bears. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Entering Pony Island. Blocky quest started. Blocky's revenge. Okay, so that's a different. Can we see our quest somehow? Okay, wait. Options. There's nothing here for resume game. Okay. Oh P. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Whoa, Matrix. Ah, available quest with J. Unbearable revenge. Blocky's revenge. Okay, cool. Can we get more information? No, okay. Okay, so solve the puzzles in four blocks. Press E to toggle. Okay. Okay. So I guess now with puzzles like this, you always have to wonder, are you just stupid and you can't solve them? Or, uh, or is, or did you have to exploit something? But okay, so these were just simple, simple logical gates, basically. 
Oh, more logical gates. Okay. So, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, all three on. This is taking the inverse, and that might be an ore. So if we disable, yeah, that's an ore. Okay, so these these are inputs. That's an ore gate, and that's uh, an what's the name? I have to Google this. It's a not gate, of course. Okay, so this is a not gate, and this is an ore gate, and so we solved this. Amazing. Pew 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 pew. Okay, so what do we have here? So that I guess okay this is a I think a gate it's a new gate and that one also looks differently so let's see how it behaves so if we turn wait okay so if we toggle that so all of them are on now all of them are a one so this one uh, maybe that's a, a NAND let's see if we turn one off output is on and if we turn this off is off oh no so that's an XOR If both are on, yeah, so, okay, so that's an XOR. It's one when they are different, and the, this is, those are um, not gates again. Okay, so, is that, uh, okay. Where is this connected? Oh, this is over here. So let's turn this one off, but this one on instead. Yeah, it's quite logical. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So this looks like a computer. Holy shit. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, so these are bit inputs, and this is definitely a computer, like, uh, you know, more complex logic gates. Holy shit! Might be, you know, a calculator or something. Oh, that's amazing. <gasps> oh, fuck. Okay, glad we can't die. Holy shit. Okay, this is most certainly something you probably wouldn't like solve in game. Mapping out all these connections that seems extremely like a lot of work. A ton of work. Okay, so all these input things arrive here at the end and then there's a okay so that is uh, that is definitely an error um, like an error flag thing each of these are error flags and um, they are all like put together and they are all with or gates put together and so if one of these error pillars is one the whole chain will be one and then the the output fails so you have to get all of these turned off like this one here and like this one here but obviously that is probably not as easy with this input you would have to match the whole logical thing yeah I, I wonder if you have to draw this all by hand or if you can somehow re like if you have to re we have to figure this out by hand or if we do this somehow like reverse engineer the game itself yeah curious interesting Oh, and here's a glass, so we can't get in, and that's an uh, amazing chest. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Okay. So, I mean, the solution for this is you could map all the inputs and look up all the gates, like go high up, up there, and look over everything and draw on a piece of paper all the logical gates, but oh man, that's that would be a lot of work and you could easily make errors. That might be something that we have to do reverse engineering on the client or maybe brute force. Let's walk back and see how many inputs this thing takes. Okay, so, oh, it does take quite a lot of input. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, 30, 31. So these are quite a lot of bits. Depends on where this logic is. Like if we can identify this kind of logic implemented in assembler easily, then like an easy function, if we find like a check, check binary function, we can like extract it. That is brute forceable. Um, but it also should be reversible. Like if you map out all of these logic gates, that is like a fairly, probably a fairly easy thing to solve. But yeah, that is like doing that by hand. Oh my gosh, that's too much. This is cool. I love this. We need more games like this. Okay, so let's head out of the cave and, and go the other, other path. We definitely need a teleport hack. Walking is so slow or speed hack. Okay, so we are back. So where was the path? There's the path. So let's <coughs> Let's ah, oh, do we want to continue here? Oh my gosh, this island is amazing. I don't know where to go um, So there were the houses Yeah, let's let's head down to maybe the shore So with J we can change the quest to find the bears treasure Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> what is that? A giant rat. Oh, there are, there are more rats. Pew, a sniper. Oh, I failed. Giant rats, okay. So I guess there's no like level system in terms of AX, XP and, and, and leveling up. Giant rats, giant rats, amazing. Bam, bam. Oh, he dropped something. I got pwn coins! More pwn coins! No, rifle ammo. Oh, amazing. Okay, I guess. Uh, was this where we started? Yeah, that's where we started. Rifle ammo. Rounds for automatic rifles. You don't need to be a better shot you just need to shoot more bullets ah there's also some stats of our magic spell okay so where do we go now another giant rat I haven't done anything in this game basically and I love this game already. Oh, there's something. Are those stairs? Oh, another building. Looks like a restaurant of some sorts. Ooh, look at this view! Holy shit, this is amazing! Neo, you gotta believe. Damn, it's so cool. How do I know in which area I'm currently am? Ah, oh, there's a house or farm. Is that a ship over there? Entering gold farm. Sheeps! I thought I get gold from you there's another person and back there that l looks also like a forest so I should check that out something <laughs> something wrong welcome to gold farm I farm all day to provide for this island but it has all gone wrong what's wrong my cows are missing one night I heard a massive amount of thunder then my cows had disappeared I have no idea where they went 
I will let you know if I see them. Okay, until cows come home. Find the lost cows. So, what's that? That looks like a... A hunt... Oh, those are... Oh, there's a whole village. The Pirate Bay! Can we climb... No. The Pirate Bay. Okay. I mean, at some point I definitely want to explore the ship, but right now I'm still looking for those bears. More giant rats. There. Loot. Phone coins. This is so pretty! Okay, I really hope that over there where it looked a little bit foresty is maybe the forest. I mean, it should be closer to the area where we got the quest, I would assume. So I shouldn't wander too far off and I'm kind of circling around the mountain now, I, th I think. If my orientation was not completely screwed up. Oh, <laughs> there's an entrance to something. Oh, that's pro that's um, that's uh, another fast travel. Maybe we can fast travel back to where we were. Entering gold form. Okay, fast travel. Town of Pony Island. Fast fast travel. Now you are thinking with portals. Oh, the references are way too much. Okay, wait. Oh, I already traveled, I just didn't notice. Uh -huh, I'm back. Okay, cool. So... Instead of going up the mountain, let's go to the right of it. Oh, the game just crashed. That's sad. Okay, so we are back here. And we still have everything. Of course, it's an online game, so we don't lose any progress. Earlier we took the path up there, so let's see what's down here. Loot! Oh wait, how did we switch the view again? For the achievement... Ah, P, P, P. That was P. Shotgun ammo. Pistol ammo. It's a new fast travel place. The unbearable woods! Okay, so we we literally went the wrong way the whole time. I get the music, amazing. I'm hyped, I'm hyped. There's a bear. Boom, 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 boom. Easy! No scope 360! Easy, easy, easy. I got a bear skin. Amazing. There are more bears back there. There's another one. Pew, 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 pew. Oh yeah. More bears. Okay, so how many... Did he say how many we need? I don't think so. So the... Find... find oh no, find the bear's treasure, I guess. We can only sell to him bear skins as well. Okay, so let's explore a bit more. Oh damn, all those bears charging. The music is amazing. Let's head in there, over there with the fires. That looks like a main area. Oh, it's like old school MMO farming. Pull all the mobs and then kill them all. Oh shit, I'm out of mana. I forgot that we have mana. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's a treasure chest. I don't trust it, to be honest. I don't trust this game at all. Okay. So, a timer, five minutes, sure. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 40 health. I wonder if we can like stand on a stone and they can't reach us because it's stay within the circle. Oh shit. Okay, I've died to a bear. Yeah, I 
I would assume that we are just like not strong enough, not even with these weapons. I'm sure you would get swarmed with so many bears that you just can't do it legit, I guess. Let's try it one more time and collect, definitely collect the bear skins. And now let's not deplete our mana already by shooting aimlessly around. Okay, let's collect the stuff. Okay, let's just, let's try if we can stand like on here. Oh no, okay, we cannot. <laughs> this game is good. Okay, so I guess let's head maybe, I don't know what to do. I guess we slowly reach a point where we have to look more into the technical stuff on the side, like how can we defeat them. We could also try to get some guns, uh, like farm a bit of money and see if that works, but you know, I'm sure there's somehow a way how you can increase the damage. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a way the game prevents you. I, I guess all gold chests, are su you can only get to them if you somehow, you know, exploit something, hack something. So let's explore for a little bit more. So the pirate ship was over there. So let's maybe go to the pirate ship as well. So we have seen the ship. And maybe let's look over there on the island as well. And just so we get a good overview of, of the world. What's here. Imagine how this must have been when you started the CTF. Like you, you loaded in with your team and characters and you started exploring this for the first time. You have the time pressure of the CTF trying to find those flags and you run into those bears and there are so many other players trying it at the same time. Ah, oh, that must have been so interesting. Yeah, let's check the boat. Is that a chest as well? I don't trust it. Oh, <laughs> DLC. Oh, I, I guess I was wrong with the free to play. I guess you have to pay. Unlock, unlock code entered is not valid. Try again. Okay. I guess we know what we have to do here. Okay. Oh, are we walking on water? We are Jesus. Tail mountains. Spiders. Pwn coins. Angry bear. Were the others also angry bears? Oh shit. They have a lot more HP. I'm glad. Oh shit. I did not see that bear coming. Monster kill achievement. What was so special about this monster? Uh, kill an elite enemy. Okay. Well, it's not very elite, I have to say. Thank you that you were bugged. Oh, fuck. Give me that loot. Ouch. Uh, didn't expect this to be so quick. Ah, yeah, right, the cave we saw from all the way over there. Okay. Quest started. Fire and ice. Investigate the molten cave. Spider, does this lava at least kill you? I, I assume, I guess. I, I don't know. <gasps> Magma rock. Oh, shit. I assume I cannot kill that dude and get his chest. Let's just hear like pew 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 let's steal it. Oh no I can't access it. Oh you can destroy the fireball Oh shit I fell in the water. Uh magma uh lava. There was another path the other direction, let's try that one. Oh Okay, so that's ice, I guess, up there. Fire and ice. Okay, oh, what's that? What are these things? <gasps> oh shit, what do these things do? 
Hey, I did quite a lot of damage to that thing. Did I bug it behind the thing? Amazing! Look at this, I'm hacking this game already. Look how difficult it is to create like online games and stuff. You know, if, if you have a bug like this, and this is easy to farm then, it's pretty terrible. Like we didn't even do anything technical yet and it's just, you know, it's it's a challenge to implement all this pathfinding and collision checks and everything. Okay, so it's dead. Okay, okay, more us. Uh, <gasps> Chill out, zero cool. Okay, I'm not sure if this is how it was intended. I think maybe we should have not been able to do that. On the other hand, it was pretty weak. I assume if we would like, you know, buy weapons with pawn coins we farm, we would be able to, to kill that. It's just a chill out. Obtain it. Oh, we got an ice spell. I didn't even notice. Bam. Oh shit. Nice. What a genius who made this game. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that's easy. Easy! Easy, look at these skills I have. This movement. Oh shit, what is he doing now? He healed. He healed. Okay, I guess that's not the way how to do it. He's he healed up. I guess that's that's where you have to either be much stronger or you know figure out a different way to kill him. Crazy! That's crazy. Okay, let's head out again. Ouch, 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 ouch. Die, die. Oh, so cool. The fireball is slower than the ice, so you can kill your own fireball. Yeah, I think this is where we died earlier to one of the angry bears. And I think we have seen most of it. I, maybe there's more to discover, but I think for now we got a really good overview. Basically, all the chests, those are the challenges, the flags for the CTF, I guess. And uh, we have seen quite a few that we could uh, potentially, you know, try to tackle so I think that's a good point now to stop it for now and then let's dig into the technical stuff and do some information gathering and see how far we get and if something jumps out to us that could be useful to solve one of these uh, challenges that we have here so so one last thing before we end this there's an offline play as well so let's quickly check that out um, and yeah, so you can also play it offline, I guess. I don't... I assume that like, a lot of the attacks still kind of work. It just wouldn't be about networking. It would just be changing local client stuff. But yeah, awesome.